hello, 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 my divine and fine feminine. It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, my friend, we are here to do the divine feminine new levels. Sunday morning reading. Yes, indeed. Please feed the needy. Father God, please feed our soul because we want to keep our belly and our spirit swole. Come on, Father God. Hello. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to all my babies. Thank you for coming through and clicking this video and showing me love. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. A shout out to all my newbies. Every last one of y'all for coming through and clicking this video. You know, before we get into any messages, any readings, any guidance, we know, we always want to give uh, Father God, the universe, whatever it is that you acknowledge or pray to. We want to give the Creator. Um, knowledge and thanks for bringing us here and um you know just being blessed on this wonderful sunday so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me father god we just want to thank you so much for um bringing us here collectively the whole collective divine feminine unit we feel so beautiful father god i know me personally i woke up and i felt so good this morning father i done burnt my incense this morning i got me a nice glass of water next to me some coffee i you know i gotta have that balance i gotta have the coffee and the water you know i don't know you know i gotta add something strong and then something cleansing but father what i'm trying to tell you i got up early this morning i turned my music on burnt my incense i opened up the window I had that natural light coming through, kissing my skin, that good vibe, that good music, the good smell. Oh my goodness, Father God, it's just, it's been so radiant this morning. And I'm pretty sure that is the way that a lot of the divine feminists wake up on a Sunday morning just feeling blessed, happy, and just cleaning up their environment and just, you know, getting their Sunday prepare for the week you know so that's just i love sunday sundays is one of the uh best days of the week for me and my family and i'm just so thankful so i know a lot of the divine feminine are very very thankful this sunday morning father god please give us the guidance that we need to receive to continue to feel thankful to continue to live in the spirit of gratitude to continue to live in a place of just cleanliness and wealth and good health father god we just have so much good, pure, and just, you know, amazing intentions. And we just, you know, we want to step into our royal hood. You know, we want to uh, put our crown on and, you know, fix it on our head properly and sit, you know, upright in our throne. <laughs> we just want everything to just be proper real proper like you know so father god we just want to thank you so much for all of these proper blessings that we're manifesting in our life jesus in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen father god thank you for being a friend okay we travel down the road and back again our heart is true you're a pile and a confidant thank you for being a friend father god listen you already know we got to end the prayer like that. I'm sorry. I love singing that song at the end to the prayer, y'all. I love it. I love it. Father God, thank you for bringing a friend. All right, y'all. Come on, Divine Feminine. Let's get into this reading and die. Let's see what the uh, general energy is for the Divine Feminine. Let's get into these tea cards. All right. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all, we got a little Game of Thrones flavor out here. Me and one of my homies that's never seen the Game of Thrones. I done got this person turned on to the Game of Thrones. And baby, this person is hooked. Okay? So I'm about to go all the way back. Shout out to all my Game of Thrones fans. Okay? Because I know y'all is in the comments going up like, girl. Okay? And I cannot wait till they get to the red. <laughs> I keep telling them I said the red wedding, baby. You is going to be hooked. It's going to hit the floor. Okay, y'all. Ooh, you got the heart and scales that just don't pop down. All right? You got the heart and scales. Things are looking very, very balanced. Divine Feminine, I feel like your money, your finances, and your home environment, things are looking very, very good. Things are looking very good. Them finances is coming through. It's looking kind of stable. It's looking very reliable. 
you getting reliable, steady income, you're about to have to, you know, look at your bank account and be like, well, goddamn. <laughs> okay? I done did that. Got a couple of savings accounts in the thou wow. Looking like wow wow. Okay? Couple of uh, accounts in the thou wow looking like wow wow. Couple of accounts that you don't even touch. It just grow. And now what you need to do, Divine Feminine, okay? Look, let me tell you something. Because this is what I'm about to do. Okay? Those accounts that is just sitting there, we need to figure out to have some like revenue of some sort i don't know if you're going to start like a little nail business if you're going to be a content creator i don't care if it's just like an extra 250 dollars couple hundred dollars a month where it's just feeding into that account every month you need to find some like extra income where it's just like some little side hustle something that is just for that bank account only where it just adds into that account we need to have deposit only accounts. Deposit only accounts. You got your one account that you work out of, that you pay your bills out of, and then you got like two or three deposit only accounts. No withdrawals. Deposit only. And on top of your finances looking good, it look like you got, not looks like, you got love on the table. That is looking very stable, you guys. There's something coming in, you guys, that's going to have your heart feeling very fulfilled. You're going to be feeling very emotional. <laughs> You're going to be feeling very stable in the, in the love department. So we're going to find out what's going on. It says new love, too, ladies. Y'all see that? That say new love. Mm. Look, you ain't never been here before. Mm -hmm. You ain't never been here before. And you got justice and documents. Court settlements. Tax money. Something is, something is working out in your favor. I want to say something that you don't see coming. That's really going to balance things out for you a lot. I just heard you, you have more accessible income more money that you can access to kind of like fluctuate your bills where your bills are just like steady you're not going in the negative or anything it's like you're not owing nobody anything no more you feel what i'm saying it's like something that could come in out of the blue something that you could have been trying to apply for uh something comes through where it's just like it balances the table. It balances the scales. Things are like working out for you. Very successful in the finance uh, department. And make sure that you turn in all your documents on time. Make sure that you got all of your facts straight. That all your attachments. Make sure that uh, before you send anything that you click the attachments. Make sure everything is opening up appropriately. And it's opening up to the correct document. And the document has all of the correct pages on it. Just make sure that you're doing your due diligence. And all of your paperwork is together. You feel what I'm saying? But you're going to get approved. I feel like it's something that could have took a long time. But yeah, you're going to get approved. Now it took a second for you to get the approval from all of the correct signatures. It's like people could have just took their time signing the document. Like you could have needed like four or five signatures on this document for it to go forward. You got the four pinnacles in the reverse. I just heard it's time for you to start letting go. And you got the queen of swords in the reverse. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, and then you got the two. You got the two cups. Okay. So I want to say sometimes with this Queen of Swords in the reverse, sometimes you could come off angry, guarded, and judgmental. I feel like in the past you could have had um, certain circumstances where it just puts you in a place where you don't really trust people very much especially where it comes to like justice and um the scales and things like that it, it's like things didn't work out in your favor or you just seen 
so much so many things get like swept under the table before it's like you might not trust the justice system but i definitely feel like something is going to turn out in your favor that's going to um make you believe a little bit again things are going to work out for you i do feel like with this queen of swords being in the reverse it's like you don't talk to a lot of people you could be shut off a lot um there could be a connection, a partnership, um, a meeting of someone new, someone, there, there's a lot of familiar, uh, I, I hate trying to say this word, familiarity, did I say it right? There's a lot of familiarity in regards to you and this person's heart intentions. Y'all have a lot of uh, same future goals, a lot of same future aspirations, like, um, like you guys are meeting each other and coming to each other's life at the same time it's like I just heard you feel comfortable and free to talk to each other every like all the time you don't feel as closed off anymore so and I just heard someone is kind of getting over this mean streak as well trying to it's, it's like learning how to open up your heart because more things in your life are kind of becoming more stable. So you don't have to be um, feeling like everybody is untrustworthy. I feel like you actually have like a decent counterpart, like a good partner coming into your life that is helping you come outdoors to learn how to live a bit, uh, live a little bit more. Um, someone that's actually like putting a smile on your face. Not only that, but I feel like you're life is just getting more stable where you just feel more comfortable and more sure of yourself i just heard this you're learning to fix yourself more upright it's like your mind is learning how to think more healthy or more positive about the outcome and the circumstances it's like you're learning how how to let that negative shit go Especially when you're around people that are making you smile a lot and make you feel more confident and make you feel more sure of yourself. It's like you don't have to um, feel so overprotective about yourself right now. You feel more stable. You feel more able. You feel more secure. And you're around more people that actually love you. <laughs> Red Ball, I'm gonna call you back. I'm recording. I'm gonna say you work. I'm recording. I'm recording, babe. Anyway, so in regards to the heart, matters of the heart over here, you got the Four of Pentacles and then you got the Eight of Wands. So I feel like it's time again for you to start opening up a little bit because. <laughs> Considered with this queen of swords in the reverse, like you could be a little bit rigid, you could be a lot of uh, there could be a lot of feistiness, you could be very guarded, like you ain't giving it to nobody, you ain't giving nobody shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you could have been holding on to your coins and everything. Like I said, you could have not been talking to people. Um, in regards to the four of pentacles, especially with it being in the reverse, I don't feel like you come from like a lack mentality or you come from a place of in like feebleness, like instability like that. I just feel like you just had a, a, a point in your life where you didn't have a lot of time and patience for people and you didn't feel like giving people your time, um, allowing people to have access to your resources, mainly you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like the four pinnacles and the upright is I know what I have is precious. I'm not giving it to nobody. I'm not sharing. I'm a financial prude, uh, like a penny pincher. Like you really are. Uh, it's like you worked hard for everything that you have and you're very reluctant to let it go. Like if you had to let it go, it really has to have 
purpose and it has to gain interest where you getting that money back and you able to put something back on top of that if you're not able to do that then you're not really open to conversating with people spending time with people like you again like i said this is somebody that is extremely guarded and don't trust nobody nobody you like for a long time you could have felt like a whole bunch of people are full of bullshit and again i'm trying to get myself and my money and my finances together so i don't i don't if it's not worth it i'm not giving to you and right now um because the four of pentacles also represents somebody that's scared of going into financial ruin like i'm scared if i spend this money it's all going to go away so quickly and I'm never going to get it back. Or I work so hard just to get where I'm at right here. Like I'm going to have to work double times over just to replace what I spend. And with this eight of wands coming up right behind this, it's like you could feel comfortable to put out. You don't have to be so rigid. You don't have to be so on guard. You don't have to feel like it's not going to be an even exchange with this eight of wands you're going to get that back tenfold things are starting to pick up in your life you're starting to regenerate more of where that came from so as soon as you spend that money or as soon as you um give that time away as soon as you open up that door it's just going to be an influx of opportunities an influx of uh new action items for you to work on so it's like almost an investment yeah i spent some money on this but because i did this now i have this opportunity and this opportunity and this opportunity this is like someone that um didn't have the best internet service or something and maybe people could not have access to them and you weren't getting your emails or something like it, it was something about like some like slow connectivity because someone did not want to spend more money on a better service and it's like as soon as you upgraded your internet service system so people have more access to you it's like the floodgates of like and you're realizing like why everything was so slow is because of your service. It's like you got to spend a little bit more money for quality if you want things to come in a little bit more. So it's, I feel like because you are, you did something, you tweaked something, you did something where it's like you're not as on guard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I know I have to do this to get this and you did it you know i feel like you really did not want to <laughs> open that door or invest that money or spend your time in that way like you were very reluctant to do it but it ended up blessing you tenfold with the levels of opportunities that you like you were actually hitting your mark like you were hitting your goals you were everything that you set out to do you're getting that and then some Baby, you sitting back on your weekends eating dim sum. Like everything that your heart desires is coming to you very, very fast. Um, especially in the love department. Um, in regards to your creativity, um, your skills, you could be getting new opportunities. You could be meeting new people. Um, I always look at the eight of wands of like uh, a lot of conversation, a lot of back and forth. Um exchanges from people to people to people to people it's like um exchanging hands like negotiations and like uh i'm seeing this like a convention uh it's like a whole bunch of people that don't know each other but they kind of work in the same uh atmosphere and it's like they're all coming together at this convention and you're meeting people from all over the world because y'all have like the same type of passion and goals. So it's like y'all are exchanging information for like market trends in their region and stuff. So it's like things are, uh, it's like, um, what, what am I trying to say? 
it's like is it ladder climbing or climbing the ladder if you may it's because of your networking it's because of your social skill like this is social skills like going out socializing marketing yourself getting to meet people it's like yo like the world travels fast about you so there, like there could be a lot of people talking about you like you could be an expert or something um people like your art your poetry your music anything that has to do with like your talent or your skill or something it's like word travels fast so you could have invested some money even though you might not have had a lot of money or you didn't want to spend your money but because you marketed you spent some money on marketing this could even be like those little marketing things to like boost your um to increase your engagement or whatever on social media on TikTok or Facebook or on um Instagram or something like you could have paid the little twenty dollars or whatever whatever but now you're seeing why nobody was commenting and nobody was saying nothing because it's like they hide your shit you see what i'm saying like you gotta pay and now your shit is taking off so like pay attention to that so it's like you might have to put a little bit more money to get more engagement in regards to this to see the success in your craft am i making any sense and then as well, and this may be, <laughs> this may be more of a message for me than anybody, but um, I feel like people like you because you cuss a lot, because I feel like you have a very vulgar and profane, <laughs> your profane language, you got a bad mouth, I got a bad mouth, but at the same time, like you may, no, I'm not going to say that because I feel like you may be so cutthroat and vulgar and you just speak to people how you know to talk. You just keep that shit real. It's like you don't really spare people feelings. I feel like people like that about you. But at the same time, I feel like you have to find balance with it where every word, every other word doesn't have to be an F-bomb or whatever. I think I'm kind of doing good in this video right now, now that I think of it, because that's what made me think about <laughs> that. Because when I looked over there, it said, you're a vulgar mouth for your profane language. <laughs> Stop cussing so much. <laughs> Invest in that. <laughs> You'll get more followers. Like, no bullshit. But it's cute, but it's like, I like this two of cups right here because it's like you are meeting people that really genuinely like you a lot and appreciate your energy and it's a mutual connection where you guys are pouring into each other without having to ask for it you know like even your followers the people they genuinely fuck with you they really really like you you know what i'm saying so it's like you could have paid one time for like um the little booster on your uh content or whatever and you just paying that one time and now naturally people know about you now and they just pouring this love onto your page they're pouring your, you know it, it needs a people that naturally come to you every day and you just feel the love like right now you are feeling the love you're feeling the love you guys and I like how I see all of those roses and things on the throne. So I feel like you're becoming more soft-hearted, more loving. Um, you're paying attention to the way that you dress, um, the makeup that you're putting on. I feel like you're in your soft girl, uh, extra, extra feminine season right now. So you're really... I, could, I feel like you could be redecorating your throne. You could be redecorating before you take a seat back down, before you sit back down. I just heard like you're paying attention to your old moves and certain things that you didn't like about yourself. And it's like you didn't want to do that no more. It's like you're redecorating the throne. That's what I'm hearing. You're redecorating the throne and rightfully so. Okay. All right, let's get into it. So, what's coming up this week for my Divine Feminine that can look forward to? But definitely, my ladies, look out to having to invest in something either time-wise, money-wise, energy-wise. 
you may be reluctant and may not want to do it, but you're going to see why you should have done it. And a lot of things are going to come to you naturally. Naturally right now. And look out for love. You definitely got some new love on the line. You got the letter. And you got a release of sorrow. Okay, I, lo I like how the sorrow was in the reverse over here. So there's a lot of stress of the mind that is being released from you right now. A lot of things that you used to worry about that you don't have to worry about anymore. Like I said, the scales are becoming more balanced. Justice, you know. You're starting to see more appreciation in regards to your skills. You're seeing people appreciating your skills. You're not having to worry about recognition and people paying attention to how hard you work anymore um you guys can be getting a raise a pay increase um and i feel like you might have to re-budget you may have to go back and look at your budget i feel like there's a lot of things that you really don't need that you are not paying attention to there's a lot of tv channels that you don't need anymore um there's a lot of clothes that you could give away to charity that'll just free up a lot of space and it'll make room for new things. There's things that you shouldn't be looking at anymore that could um, release a lot of pain and tension and sorrow as well. Um, I feel like you need to eat more leafy green things as well. It'll help with like... I feel like there's some type of, um, somebody be getting, um, it's like some type of gas reflux or gas or something, but what's that powder? It's like some type of powder or something that you could take that helps your digestive system. Like you can mix it in water or in a smoothie or something like that. I feel like there's like somebody be having like some type of abdominal pain, like, or it could be like pressure due to like cramps or your menstrual cycle or something like that. And I, I, it hurts really bad. That could be another reason why you're angry a lot. You got the letter. So there's some letter of, uh, there's some form of communication. Again, I feel like this has something to do with some type of approval. I feel like this is something that you never thought would come or it took so long you could have forgot about it. I don't know if you just finally receiving child support or um, I just heard it like took somebody's tax check. I, like there's like a some type of garnishment that um, it could have been like something due to child support or like an old. Yeah, something about an old custody battle or old uh, court battle about something that happened long time ago and you never thought that you would be able to get your money but then this person fucked up and they filed taxes or they did something and forgot that they owed you and like the government garnished their check or garnished something. It could be like someone owed you some money for a property, a loan, uh, something. Do you understand? And someone forgot about that shit and they was like, here, here you go. You know, remember this person owed you that $9,800 for blue, 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 blah, 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 back in um, 2016. You're like, 2000? Yeah, I remember that shit. Are you for real? Like, yeah, we finally got him. Oh, just stop playing. <laughs> like, I legitimately feel like there is some communication. Like, you are going to be it's like a process server or something. Where I'm here, like a process service, something is going in enough for a sorrow for you on a financial uh, aspect. And especially in love, too, there may be somebody that's reaching out to you, want to communicate to you in love. Look, you got, what is this? Cheerfulness. Your family. Your friends. Give me one more card. Tell me what's going on with the Divine Feminine. What can the Divine Feminine look for? Two. We got two cards here. We got Melo Carly and then the Enemy. Oh, shit. Oh, and the 
And at the bottom of the deck, we got despair. My goodness, who in the fuck is this, y'all? This ain't, I just don't have nothing <laughs> to do with you. This don't have nothing to do with you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. So there could be somebody on the outside, possibly. I don't know if they're looking in or not. But uh, this is someone that is definitely being kept outdoors. It's someone bored with their life. This somebody do that could possibly did something that they had nothing, no business doing to you. They could be in a like pit of despair um, because you look at them as an enemy right now. I'm putting this back because I definitely don't want this in, this energy on my table. But from what I'm seeing right now, things are looking in a better way for you. You have nothing to be upset about looks like you have an amazing partnership about to come into your life like you just gotta fix yourself up a little bit like change your attitude around and just have more positive thinking and just be more inviting something about your sharp tongue you like you like you <laughs> will cut someone off and cuss people out quickly but like I said you're uh redecorating your throne you have all the intentions of sitting your ass down, being frilly and pretty this time. Because you don't have any of those worries and sorrows and frustrations and enemies around you that you used to. Like, you're in a whole totally different situation now. And it's like your finances is increasing. You're getting communication of uh, positive things coming into your life. Like I told you, you could be... Um, your engagement in regards to your social media and your business. Um, you meet new friends. You could be getting invited to new um, parties, engagements, celebrations. Like, I feel like you're just gifted right now in this season. And um, you, you, you feel like you don't, you have a lot to give, even though you feel like a lot of people don't deserve it. Mainly, because you put a hard, a lot of, you see she, you see her holding them three pinnacles. You put a lot of hard work and studying into everything that you have. That shit didn't come easy. So you don't just give yourself and expose your talent and your knowledge to anybody. So, again, you could be just exchanging some communication to somebody about some information that you know that you've been holding back on and you don't want to share with everybody because you're going to make motherfuckers pay for this shit. You feel me? Because I actually went to school and I studied for this with them three of pentacles that you holding on to. Do you understand? So you could have studied and if people want something for you, they're going to have to put out for it. So... This could be that as well. You guys making somebody pay for your knowledge, pay for your time, pay for like, it, no, it's not free. It's not because <laughs> you're stingy with your time and your intentions and your gifts. So if you want this, if you want somebody's going to have to pay for something in order to have like open access or to be able to communicate freely so that could be something too so y'all pay attention y'all might be making somebody pay for something oh <laughs> but y'all see <laughs> why y'all say that what i'm talking about and if what i know and if my knowledge is intriguing to you then bitch you gonna pay for the shit look look the queen of us <laughs> What's cussing and shit? <laughs> Bitch, you watching me? <laughs> and look with that cussing and all of that shit. All you got all these followers and shit. I ain't changing a motherfucking thing. I'm just gonna redecorate my throne a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting pretty up on this motherfucker. But I'm still cussing. <laughs> Y'all funny as a motherfucker, bruh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Uh, let me see if that other day. Let me see if there's any other. Anything else that this deck wants to say. 
And if I want it here tonight, we're going to take it. So, we're going to get three more cards from this deck. We got one. We got the lady. Hold on. Melody and doctor. Okay. So, there's somebody that there's some type of sickness or some type of health issue or something that someone needs to uh, pay attention to. And then again, you got this despair in the at the bottom. So, um, it could be something. And it's like you may need to go quickly. You may need to go fast. You need to go tell somebody about this fast being next to this Eight of Wands because... Um, I feel like you may let it, uh, you don't want whatever this is to get too far ahead of itself. And I do feel like this is like some type of stomach pain, like a stomach ulcer, a stomach something. It could be kidneys, you don't know, it could be kidney stones or something. It, whatever it is, it hurts really, really bad. Like it's. Oh, I feel like someone is like ashamed to tell somebody about what's going on with them health wise. If you scared to tell, I feel like this could be a family member, like an elderly family member as well that y'all may need to pay a little bit more of attention to and maybe assist this person in going to the doctor. Like somebody's in a lot of pain. A lot of abdominal pain. So please pay attention to that and take whoever this is. Or if it's yourself, please go to the doctor. So, alright, that's enough for that deck. Because, child, we do all me. Well, shit, I guess. Whatever. Hmm. So, let's get to the Game of Thrones deck. Can you tell us about this love? You got this love, you got the new love with the heart right here, and you got the two of cups. I mean, so we we're gonna have to talk about love, ladies. Listen, divine feminine, we're gonna have to talk about love because this <laughs> look, you ain't got nothing to be upset about. So, but <laughs> come on now, tell me about this new love. That okay, hello. You got the four wands in the reverse and the two of spears. So. I, it, it's like telling me like the doors isn't open. The three of spears. So it's like. I just heard it's like you, you, you guys are waiting for someone to be more vocal about their intentions. And it's something about you not getting too far ahead of yourself and thinking that everybody that you meet is the one and it's love. It's like they're really going to have to be vocal and expressive. Um, I don't see that you are, you're just not getting too excited or inviting people to your house, especially nobody's getting invited to your house. Like you may go to theirs. But that season of your life where you would get comfortable with people and just allow people to come, spend a night at your house, get comfortable with you the way that you used to with people, like, it, it, it's no more that. Like, <laughs> that part of who you are and how you love and express yourself has changed. I feel like you are being more open and inviting in regards to you spending time with people, but they're going to have to take you out. They're not coming back to your house. And you're not going back to theirs until it means something to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to mean something. It really has to mean something. So, I don't think that there's anybody that has vocally expressed their intentions where you are getting too excited or just getting all up in arms and celebrating about a new relationship yet yeah, it's like especially with that two 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 of spirits right there it's like i'm looking at you 
I'm interested in you, but you have to do a little bit more to show that you're interested in me. And then I'll get excited. And then we could possibly talk about you coming over to my house and you visiting me uh, and all of them things like that. But right now, nah, I'm not looking, like, I'm not getting no wedding bells or nothing like that. Like, people really have to show their intentions to me. You know, I'm not falling in love with every single body that I meet the first time that I meet him. And I think that this is the one and I'm in love and we're about to get married. Like, no, it's like I'm more mature in my womanhood, in my adulthood than that. Like, I, I do you understand? Everybody that you meet. You're not going to fall in love with and it's not going to be the one and it's not marriage. No, the motherfuckers got to show you that shit before you just jump out there like, oh, I'm about to just go change my world and I'm about to just, you know, like, nah, slow down, you know? So it's like you guys are very, very mature and you're not in a rush and you're not, it's not that you're being overcritical about anybody. It's just that I've been through this life a few times, okay? Like I have been around the rodeo a few times. I'd have made that mistake. Shit, I almost thought I was about to get married to a flick. Look, just jumping out there. Just about to leave everything behind and just, you know, jump off in the future with somebody that I barely know why because the dick is good and because we had a couple of good first meetings and, you know, like, what? No. No, you got to show me support. You got to continuously send them invitations. You got to continue. You got to show... You got to build up the momentum for me. You feel me? So, it's like... There's nothing wrong with this at all. I feel like this is showing a lot of maturity. Just showing a lot of maturity. Mm -hmm. Give me guidance for um, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. That's a lot. It's a freaking lot. Okay, judgment. <laughs> judgment day. I just heard this judgment day for all you suckers. <laughs> Y'all hoes got to answer to me now, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, divine feminine don't mean, I mean, she, she don't mean no harm, but like she mean business. It's like I'm tired of being. I just and now they playing hello to the bad guy, hello to the bad guy, <laughs> the problem, and now I'm mad fly, <laughs> and now what they think? Y'all know I'm talking about <laughs> Jay Z song. Say hello to the bad guy, hello, <laughs> hello, uh, hello. <laughs> Y'all say it's judgment day. Say hello to my little friends, okay? I read all that. Y'all say say hello to my little motherfucking friends, okay? It's time for motherfuckers to pay up. It's time for people to pay them. Like, you don't get nowhere in life being a pushover and being a nice fucking guy. Like, when I fucking start cussing and rolling this neck around and snatching these earrings off, then that's when bitches fucking listen to me. Okay? I'm reloaded. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to start no shit. I'm not trying to, like, bring no negative energy to no environment. But I ain't got time to be playing with y'all motherfuckers. Like, at all. The reason why the Divine Feminine, first off, like I said, she's having to redecorate her throne. Because y'all need to understand that she's grown. Is that what it is? I feel like the Divine Feminine feels like it's something about the way that she's been carrying herself that attracts. I'm about to get into it. Okay, okay. So you got the Knight of Spears in the reverse. Is this the Knight of Spears? Yeah, this is the Knight of Spears in the reverse. So, this is someone that is finicky, that is untrustworthy, that's grown enough to know better but still don't do better. Um, there's no loyalty. 
it's like a lot of fake ass energy you you can't never tell if the person is being honest or loyal to you or not it's like they'll come and say some shit to you and then go to you somebody that they know is your en en enemy and say the same shit to them or go tell somebody else your secrets or go fuck one of your friends or go do some business behind your back that doesn't involve you and y'all supposed to be partners like you know these are just like untrustworthy and unstable individuals that just be trying to latch on to you and your queendom and these are not idiots these are not people that don't know how to take care of themselves or handle their own business or don't know how to be honorable people they just choose not to be what the fuck they should be in society for them to thrive They're just fucking low lives. You got the two of cups right here. That's why things weren't um, ever going to work out with these people in business, in career, family, personal love life type of things. That's why a lot of people in your life, you have like separated yourself and you disassociated yourself from these people. Because you don't love me and I don't love you neither. You don't respect me. I don't respect you neither. I can't trust you. You don't look, bitch. You don't need to trust me neither, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Okay, bitch. We is reloaded. <laughs> we is re fucking loaded, bitch. And I got extra ammo for my shit, bitch. You don't trust me. You better not trust me neither. The fuck. You better not trust me, huh? Once I see how the fuck you moving. I don't got time for, look, Divine Feminine ain't got time for that type of shit. And that's why you've been upset. And that's why you've been cutting people off. That's why you've been a little bit nasty. You've been a little bit more vulgar. You've been a little bit more vocal. And you've been saying shit that people don't want to hear you saying. And people don't like what they don't like hearing the fucking truth. See, this is the thing. Divine Feminine be telling the nasty ass motherfucker truth. I don't give a fuck if you like, and, I, and I'm cussing. And I'm rolling my neck. And I'm snatching these earrings off, bitch. And what's up? What's up? Bitch, I done told you. Bitch, what time? Bitch, what? Oh, y'all gonna have to answer to Y'all gonna have to answer to me. So what's all that shit you was saying? Come on, come all. I wanna see all you bitches fall. Come on, come all. I wanna see all you bitches fall. What y'all hoes said? Run that by me again? What? <laughs> y'all motherfuckers with my real friends. Y'all motherfuckers was not my real family. Y'all wasn't my real... That wasn't no real relationship. That wasn't no real love. That wasn't no real partnership. That wasn't the same motherfucker that I grew up with, that I been chilling with, that I thought... What? No. It's been a whole bunch of fake ass shit. But you said, hold on. I gotta remember who the fuck I am. Okay? I'm the queen. The queen of cups. And the reason why all these people been around me and... When you're a loving person, you're a nurturing person, you attract all type of individuals, friend, family, or foe. I had to learn how to treat a hoe like a hoe. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because people will try to take advantage of your goodness. And you had to step aside and you had to replenish your vessel. You had to pour that love back into yourself because you're the queen. You still got to run your, your kingdom. You just had to what? Nine of spears. You had to get these motherfuckers to fuck around from around you. You said, guards. <laughs> Hold on. I need some time to myself. Guards. <laughs> who, who out of any of these people can a knight of spears? Or any of these motherfuckers trying to drink out of your cup, say guards. No, they don't have the power to fucking say guards because I need some time to, re to myself to replenish my vessel. Bitch. Guards. <laughs> you had to put that protection up. <laughs> you had to call the army. Bitch, I ain't got to lift a finger to fucking beat your ass. I don't have to lift a finger to fuck you up. I ain't got to, I don't got to lift a finger to lay you down. Only thing I got to say is guards. <laughs> Y'all hoes is not invited to my motherfucking fortress no more. I can't even see you. I don't want to be you. I don't need you. Okay? No, y'all 
hoes ain't invited to come parlay and chill with me no more, bitch. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not looking forward to you coming to my house. You're not invited. All right? I'm not looking for you. You see how that two is spent? I am not looking for you. I'm not looking for that. You need to show something. <laughs> You want to know why the queen, you want to know why the divine feminine is in the queen of swords. In the queen of swords in the reverse. She said guards. Guards. <laughs> She's guarded. She's replenishing her vessel. If it's not mutual, she don't, no, no. We don't got time for that shit. We do not got time for that shit. So we could put that back. So let's get this last little <clears throat> message here for my divine feminine. Give me guidance here for give me one card for the scales. Oh, it's justice time. It's justice time. It's justice time. Give me guidance for this justice card, please. Give me guidance for this justice card. I think I just seen that seven of diamonds. Oh, Lord. If I said, baby, if, it, if that was some seven of diamonds, baby, that was, whew. Girl. Oh, you got the six of diamonds. Listen, so, yeah, you definitely cut people off. You definitely not talking to a whole bunch of people because, listen, there's like, I feel like people could possibly see you electronically, um, and they still love you. I do feel like these people um, are more, in, uh, uh, it's something about your talent and like the pur and like the purpose that you have in certain people's life. But again, you are looking for uh, connections that are more mutually beneficial. That are more mutually beneficial. So, um, I honestly do feel like there could be a cutoff. Uh, you definitely mean business because you want to have the right connections and the right people around you. So, um, people could be blocked online. There could be like a cutoff of like... I'm seeing like some level of like surgical precision. I just heard like you really want certain people to away from you because it's like excuse me y'all if y'all hear my stomach rumbling. I want to look something up real quick because I want to say something, but I don't want to like misquote or say something wrong in regards to the six of diamonds. But I want to say it's like there's some level of like deceit and envy. And especially with this love that is on the table that is coming into you guys. I don't think that you want these type of people around you because they would be jealous of you. The Six of Diamonds, quiet, being timid, shyness, lack of communication, jealousy, I told you, possessiveness, psychology, social service, science, technology, computers, information system, diagnostic equipment, energy surge, vitality, power, electrical shock, horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline. I'm trying to tell you. So it's like you feel like it's right. It's just like there's certain people that you don't know you don't want around you. So you could be like, didn't I say like a process server? Like there could be a process server or someone could be finding out that they're blocked or I do feel like someone's gonna be shocked. But it's justice, it's just you don't want these people around you. You don't want uh, people talking about you, being jealous, being envious of 
when these blessings come to you because again there's something that's coming to you in regards to finances and there's something that's coming to you in regards to love you're going to see a lot of increase in regards to your engagement on social media um in regards to your business or whatever you do professionally or you do for your leisure that your heart desires you to do that you like to do creatively you are about to take off you're about to see things go to new levels do you understand what i'm saying this is the new levels divine feminine read so there's certain people that i feel like you are upset with on a consistent basis and again i'm going to preference this communication with my ladies by saying if you going around these people and you know every time you're around these motherfuckers they make you upset you know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. If every time you go around these people, you are upset or pissed off or frustrated or irritated for some reason or another. Every motherfucker time that you go around these people. Or if you feel like these people, once things start taking off of you, they're going to smile in your face. But they're going to go behind your back. They're going to have some level of jealousy. Please, you know who these people are. Like, reduce your availability and your visibility with these people because you don't need no carbon copies neither ladies you don't need no carbon copies any motherfucking way and i feel like with this queen of swords and listen and i told you with this queen of swords you about to redecorate your throne too you think these bitches will not try to come and steal your shit and try to imitate your shit Bitch, uh, trying to copy and imitate and duplicate me is not no motherfucker flattery, bitch. Get some motherfucking uh, creativity, some swag, and some goddamn confidence of your own. Get your own identity, sweetness. Don't be trying to do me. It's just like if I was to see another someone running around talking about, okay, I reloaded. Who the hell else on the internet that y'all know be saying that but me? Like, stop this shit, y'all. Yeah? Stop this shit. Like, yeah, it's flattering. Okay, when well then, oh yeah, I see that uh, people uh, uh, picking up on my lingo that I, people actually watch me. Like, that's cool, but if it's somebody that is trying to do what you do and mimicking your accent, your everything, like, they literally trying to be your like that shit ain't no fucking flattery like that's annoying that's somebody trying to like make a coin off the still of my identity that's an identity that's identity theft that's not <laughs> what that's just like if you decide to go to school now all of a sudden oh i, I wanna i'm going to school too Y'all been single for years. Now all of a sudden you get in a relationship. Oh, now this motherfucker trying to be in a competition with you. They, they got to be in a relationship too. Don't even give a fuck about the quality of the person that they in a relationship with. They just want to have somebody just to feel like they on the same level as you. You decide, oh, I want to throw a whole bunch of my clothes away that I don't need. I'm going to uh, 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 recycle it or I'm going uh, to donate it because I'm going to go... Fix up my wardrobe. I'm about to do New Year, New Me shit. And I'm about to change my hair. And uh, look, I'm redecorating my throne. Oh, I'm about to redecorate my home too. I'm about to... Damn, bitch. Can you have your own ideas? <laughs> Can you have your own identity? Can you figure out your own life purpose? Without trying to carbon copy off of me, bitch? Damn, that should be annoying. That, 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 look, wasn't I just saying the other damn video, Desperately Seeking Susan? Or, um, uh, what's that damn, um, movie where, where, where the crazy bitch was, uh, trying to mimic her friend and shit and she threw the bitch dog off the damn balcony? She threw the bitch dog off the balcony. Okay? You know me comes throw my dog off the fucking balcony and shit trying to fuck my boyfriend, bitch. You feel me? Fucking okay. psycho alpha disco beta by your alpha doodle. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Ooh, ooh, give me one cough for the new love. <laughs> In the heart, please. Ooh, you, ooh, you got the six and the five of hearts. Ooh, that's the feminine. And her feminine. Okay. I ain't read all that. That is the female energy and the masculine energy coming out at the same time. Okay. Y'all is ready. You ready? Ooh, you is ready to get twisted up like spaghetti. Ooh, 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 y'all. Let me just give y'all some confirmation so y'all know I'm not playing, okay? And again, remember I told y'all like y'all are fixing yourself up. You not coming off. You're trying to get any type of negative shit away from you right now, like. I, I feel like you are reasserting yourself because you're trying to step into your um, freely, pretty, very smart, intelligent, and highly spiritual moment, you know, in your life. You're trying to be very effervescent, you know. Um, I'm not going to let the trials and tribulations of my life and my, my life experiences beat me. That's why I'm redecorating my throne. I'm changing my attitude and I'm just reasserting myself being more knowledgeable. Um, the five of hearts is when the female, is when the feminine energy is um, feeling very beautiful, um, confident. Um, she could be wearing a lot of um, pinks, purples, like I said, very uh, pretty yellows, pretty oranges, very bright vibrant colors um i'm seeing like uh, cotton candy opals and um very uh hmm like she smells good she looks good she's very approachable okay um let me give you all these keywords because i'm just like coming at a my brain is like closing down on me real quick but this is the card that represents the female energy. The fe the five of hearts. See? Can y'all see that? It says the five of hearts. The female energy. Woman's thoughts. Frilly things. Knitting. Sewing. Etc. Girly. The female sexuality. Intimacy. Tenderness. Holding hands. Physical displays of affection. The right hand. Um, doing something right, being right, being fair, truthful, just, um, a desired opportunity, a proposal which brings happiness and success, satisfying one's desires, fulfilling a dream. Okay. And for, but for me, for me to have this to come out to confirm the heart, the new love, the female and the masculine energy oh no this is the um yeah so yeah the five and the six of hearts so the six of hearts ooh, ooh, ooh. the six of hearts represents a love relationship a friendship emotional security gallantly gall I can't say it Gallant tree, courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional connection, past life or soul connections, masculine energy, a male lover, a brother, a son, a bachelor, an unmarried man, anything generally associated with the male gender, such as a tool a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. I told you. Can y'all see that? For the five and the six of hearts to come out to represent the new love energy. Oh, I just thought, why y'all playing? Why y'all playing in my head? I'm hearing nobody and who can do you like me? And who can freak you like me? And who can lay your body down? Nobody, baby. Ooh! 
y'all i'm like very excited for y'all i look i'm feeling this cheerfulness i feel like it's going to be mutual and between both of you guys it's going to be mutual and i do i feel like you're putting out you, you, you're putting, well, you know, you're putting out energy, you giving time. You're not being so prudent. You're not, you know, being so resistant. Like, you are allowing this person the opportunity to communicate with you. And I, things are going to take off very, very fast in regards to love, you guys. Uh, I don't feel like you are in a rush to invite someone's into your house you're not going to change your world you're not jumping into marriage you're not about to like uh relocate you know <laughs> and go no far distance just yet i feel like you are allowing things to develop and things to happen naturally it may take a second for you to invite this person into your life like that uh, because again, like I said, the right feminine, I feel like you guys are very balanced. You are balanced. Because there's nothing lacking in your life. You feel loved. You feel uh, confident. You feel covered. So anything that is worth, happen, worth having, it never happens um, overnight. You got to take your time. You got to take your time. I definitely feel once you open up yourself, it's going to be constant. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be consistent. That Number eight to me represents consistency, represents um, giving and receiving. Like, you know, mutual engagement. A constant flow it's like every day like day in day out day in day out day in day out so y'all will communicate with each other frequently there's going to be an increased level of momentum and a lot of passion when I'm seeing the eight of wands I'm seeing someone that is really going to put their back into the work <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying like this person sexually they 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 are going to make sure that you bust a couple of rounds do you understand what I'm saying this is a hard worker this is somebody that means business and they are going to make sure that their intentions are met so this is someone that um, is very confident and very engaging, okay? So you're going to be laughing a lot. You're going to be feeling cheerful. You're going to feel a lot of happiness. There's going to be a lot of celebration around you. <clears throat> I just don't feel like everybody's invited to it. And again, I don't know if this has anything to do with love because the four of wands can, again, have to do with, like, family and friends as well. Like... You just don't want a lot of unnecessary people involved. You want things to build and to develop structure and have meaning and principle. You know? So anyway, Divine Feminine, this has been your reading. I hope that you guys uh, appreciated this reading. I know that there was a lot of truth that hit the table. Um, if there's anybody that's sick, that has any body aches and pains or sickness Please make sure that you go and take uh, uh, take care of that. Um, especially like um, your intestine or something like that. Please make sure y'all take care of yourself, okay? I love y'all. Continue to love yourself. If this any of this resonated with y'all or uh, gave you some helpful insight, gave you some encouragement, especially in regards to the new love because um, I feel like some of you guys are about to enter in a relationship, but it's going to be something that is going to have purpose you guys are not pressed and that's what's going to make it different you feel me that's what's going to make it different you guys are not pressed to be jumping into no marriage to be jumping into no relationship with nobody these people really going to have to prove themselves in this season like we said with this new levels this is the new levels reading all right so i'll see you guys next sunday peace <laughs>